President Biden, who now says he will not accept Vladimir Putin's red line in Ukraine as Russia increases troops along the border. ABC's White House correspondent Mary Alice Parks is at the White House this morning. Good morning, Mary Alice. Lindsay, good morning. U.S. officials say the situation there on the Ukraine-Russia border is growing more dramatic, that Russia has significantly increased the number of combat forces there. Clearly, the fear is that Russia could be preparing a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Ukrainian officials worry that could happen as soon as next month. I asked President Biden yesterday about this, what he plans to do about this. He told me he's been in constant contact with our European allies. What I am doing is putting together what I believe to be will be the most comprehensive and uh, meaningful set of initiatives to make it very, very difficult for Mr. Putin to, uh, to go ahead and do what people are worried he may do. But that's in play right now. Now, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki would not elaborate much on that. She said they are considering economic tools, economic sanctions. When she was asked if any of those initiatives are military in nature, she sidestepped. Now, yesterday, when President Biden was leaving here and headed to Camp David, he also said he expects to have a long discussion with Putin about this. We don't have a date set yet for a meeting or a call, but clearly the White House is also preparing for that. Stephanie? Mary Alice Parks for us there at the White House. Thank you.